वेलकम टू वीडियो ऑफ कॉल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस बाय भारती डी डिस्टेंसी इन वीडियो वी हैव ट्राइड टू पुट सम क्वेश्चंस टुगेदर व्हिच विल हेल्प पीपल टू अपीयर फॉर इंटरव्यू दीस क्वेश्चंस आर नॉट एन एग्जॉस्टिव लिस्ट बट दे आर वेरी गुड बिगिन टू टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड प्रिपेयर बेटर फॉर इंटरव्यूज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड when you go for an interview the most important point is to be confident and uh, make sure that you have checked validated the the points which i have mentioned in your resume your resume has to be very professional and, uh, it should exactly reflect what you have been working on or have worked on in your past most of the times in interviews this is your beginning question which is explain about your experience in this you would start with mentioning your highest level of degree followed by the list of projects you are working on with time frame since you can start from the beginning of your career till your current or the last project sometimes you would go other it depends upon what works best for you make sure along the way you focus on cognos framework manager report studio transformer administration keywords also be very brief and precise about your last project the second question would mostly be about your most recent project on your roles and responsibilities here the interviewers are looking at a person being responsible and be able to take ownership on the tasks to deliver some quality product again here make sure you mention the keywords like frame manager report studio transformer administration uh, sometimes onshore offshore uh, interaction coordination also should be mentioned so that it gives you a good wedge when it comes to project deep offshore offshore model coming to the third third question this is this question can be asked in a different method different way but most of the time you should take these these steps to explain what you have done for framework manager so the question is what are the principles of framework manager modeling here you should start about explaining a bit on framework manager as it is a cognos tool to create packages on which you can create reports and analysis also mention about the best practices on framework manager like to create database layer business layer and presentation please follow the videos of cognos things by bharti dw consultancy in order for getting an understanding on creating framework manager models we'll talk a little bit about framework manager security how you would have implemented security in a project both data level and object level also be sure to talk about rmr relational model and dimensional model also explain about what very briefly what you would do in database layer like set usage properties and create joints and relationships for business layer do your calculations and filters presentation layer you would create shortcuts and make the package uh, on the presentation layer itself next question would be most likely i mean they, these are the questions which are most likely to be asked they would ask you when do you create rdm or transformer cubes what is your design principle 
and say what kind of model is required. So it depends upon the requirement of the project of the of the client. If they are looking for hierarchies, drill up drill, then RMR may not be the best model for you. RMR is mostly a relational model. It's a very regular plain vanilla kind of model to to be created on top of relational databases. The DMR, which is the multidimensional model, dimensional model is a representation of a relational table in a relational database in a format which looks like multidimensional. Please note that the performance of DMR is expected to be very slow. And that is why it is not used for actual project implementation most of the times, but it is used when you want to do a proof of concept or kind of show and tell functionality with a very limited data volume. Transformer cubes are very similar to DMR in the representation piece. They are extremely fast because the data in the cube is extracted before hand like an overnight basis and then it is used for analysis and reporting. It's a very common, uh, very frequently asked questions. Next, uh, most of the times you are being talked as asked about determinants in framework manager. So determinants are defined in the query subject. There is a tab when you double click the query subject in framework manager. There is a, there is a tab for determinants wherein you go and define what is your uniquely identified key, what things and stuff. So what they are looking is the second paragraph, which is determinants are used so that a table of one granularity level behaves as it if we're actually stored at another grain. They are used for dimension tables. If you don't understand this statement, read the example. Assuming that a fact table is rolled up at a country level. Now, a country is an attribute to a customer dimension. That means for every country, there would be multiple customers entries. So if you take an example of USA, the USA will have multiple customers. That is why the the call the value USA would be repeated across multiple rows that can potentially lead with lead to double counting or incorrect counting of data and that is why we would create a dimension uh, sorry determinant to make a group by country so that the data is not duplicate if you want to see more details Follow the video by Bharti W Consultancy on determinants. Next question. How would you tune performance of Cognos reports or in general, how would you tune performance in Cognos? This is very, very frequently asked question in the interviews. So in this, you have to go like a flow chart, like a algorithm. You have to say that the Cognos performance tuning can be done in multiple ways. To start with, you would create a manual query which would be very identical to the Cognos report query and try to execute in the database. If it's an Oracle database, you would use SQL Developer or SQL Plus or Toad. If it is DB2, you would use Command Center or Control Center to make sure that the data returned is fast. If you find an issue in the database itself, then the first step of tuning would be in the database. Get along with a DBA to understand the indexes, partitioning, etc. 
to be able to implement the query faster. If the database is good, then your next step would be to look at Framework Manager and make sure all the joins in the Framework Manager are at key level. Next step would be to look at Report Studio and make sure that you don't have any calculations or filters or any columns which are bringing down the performance of the report. And it has been observed that when the COGS exports data in the Excel, it takes longer than usual time as compared to HTML format. So it will be advisable if you want to men mention about Excel performance too in Cognos. Next is very generic. They would ask about your role Cognos administrator and be sure to mention about security and capability assignments, installation of Cognos server, deployment of Cognos code from dev to QA, creating a data source connection, scheduling of Cognos reports, and Cognos upgradation from 8.4 or 8 whatever 8 versions to 10 and 10 to 10.2. Moving on the next. So these are some other common frequently asked, frequently asked questions. What are categories in Cognos Transformer? And explain about categories at show diagram. Generate categories and show diagram. So categories are basically the elements of the dimension which you are creating dimensions on the levels which you are creating in, in the transformer. A generate category would generate the tree-like structure on the elements of a dimension levels. Show diagram is an area where you can take a look at um, the, the values of, of each level in a hierarchical fashion. Next question could be, what is a clean house in, in Cognos Transformer Cube? A clean house is a utility provided in Cognos to, be to delete categories which are not frequently used or clean up the The date, sale date, process date, uh, code could be customer code, product code, um, channel code, payment code, anything which is defining the data like a noun is an identifier. A fact is a column or a measure which is both the same. It is the diff it is a number which when performed an arithmetic operation on would give you a full understanding on on the data. It's like a quantitative field. An attribute is something which enhances the definition of an attribute uh, uh, definition on an identifier. 
for example customer name customer type customer location customer phone customer email are all attributes to the identified customer id next question how would you add calculations filters in the model and publish it to the page you would add calculations and filters in the business layer of your book manager that's the right here next question when would you do calculations in framework versus when would you do it in report studio which way would you prefer so when a calculation or a filter is being used across multiple reports for usability purposes you would use it or you would create it in framework manager and would use across multiple reports in cases where there is one of calculation used in a couple of reports then you would not like or want to create that calculation in framework rather you would create that in a report studio which you, which way would you prefer it depends upon usability but it may not be related directly to performance because ultimately a calculation in framework manager or in report studio would end up being a sql sql next section what is business intelligence in your point of view uh, just read something on internet business intelligence is a method of collecting storing and displaying information on which you can take business decisions so for that go to the google and search for it you'll get a lot of stuff on that how would you avoid recursive relationships or loops in framework you can create aliases shortcuts to avoid recursive relationship it may not be avoid it may be how would you resolve recursive relationships or loops in framework next question is it advisable to use custom sql in report level it is not advisable because it would it would hamper the maintainability and uh, and uh, sustainability of the report if you want to add a call somebody has to go in and change the sql all the time which may not be a good idea what is the difference between exclude and suppress and transformer exclude means that dimension will not be included in the in the cube build time at all and suppress means it would be included but while displaying it will not be displayed for details read it on the transformer um pdf if you don't have it send an email to bharti.dwconsultancy@gmail.com or contact us on the phone number and we will get back to you with the documentation last is, is what is the difference between drill up drill down and drill through in cognos report studio drill up and drill down functionalities are related to dimension hierarchical in which you have levels example year quarter month is a hierarchy country city and customer is another hierarchy so any time you're going from top level to the bottom is drill down and in which you're going from bottom to up is drill up drill through is a total different concept in which two reports or a report and a package are linked together based on some conform dimensions and you can actually hop from one report to another based on some parameters and this is drill through please watch this space for more questions interview questions more preparations for you to be able to attend interview i hope this helps and one last thing please be confident while in interview i wish you all the luck thank you